if yeah. you want to jump in this. What we were talking about... Um, divulging personal information about yourself to, to somehow increase the appeal of your brand. Yeah. I think that that's fine. Do you have as, a brand? As long, What's yeah, your brand? This. Ooh, I like it. I'll take it. I think as long as it's not, if it's, as long as it's not real, as long as it's not true, people can know anything they want to know about me. You know? Explain that sentence. Well, if it makes, it makes someone feel like they like me better because they, because they know that I can juggle So if someone was going to say something like a lie about you, like Joey Kern's a womanizer. Not that you're not. I wouldn't, womanizer, say, I wouldn't want that to you be would want you to be okay with that. I wouldn't What's want it to be derogatory. But if someone said like, "Oh, Joey eats like French toast every morning," you know, and that's not true. But if that makes someone like me more, and they go go rent my movie, then that's fine if they if they want to. But I think it's much more likely that, that people are going to have sort of the, those those sort of salacious kind of uh, details about you are much more appealing. Well, that's I think the that stuff those, that's going to get around. That, well, that's true or not. Yeah, but that that's out of my control, you know what I mean? If people feel like they need to know that information about but people... But would you ever divulge it, it yourself? Out? Like, no. if you felt... If, you're, if your publicist was like, Joey, if you come forward and you confess your drug problem or marital infidelities or whatever, that's good. People are going to love you for that. No. Then you're right. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. i got to agree with that. Yeah. I think I think Terrence they, Malick does it. Well, I think in terms of people who handle their career and, and publicity wise, I think Terrence Malick does a, does, a, does a wonderful job. Why? Because you don't know anything about him. Well, because he doesn't feel to me that doesn't see me feels an obligation to go out and. Okay. I feel like he doesn't feel an obligation to go, to go out and promote and make appearances and divulge personal details about himself, but still. I know his name, and you know his name. I'm sure everybody here knows his name. Very, very popular guy. He, I mean, in terms of, you know, in his career, makes, you know, movies, gets, works with great people, has a lot of money for his films. His films make a decent amount of money. He, do, he seems to sort of sidestep that machine, the publicity machine altogether, and it doesn't seem to hurt him at all. I think it's also, I agree with you, and I think it's, it's, it's very detrimental for an actor to, for people to know too much about them personally because we play characters, you know, and, and every character we play, we bring a little bit of ourselves to it. You have to. But if someone knows too much about me, they won't be able to watch me on film and say, That's oh, I, I'm losing myself. That's that character. You know, sometimes, and I, I think he's a great actor, but Tom Cruise, I watch Tom Cruise now and I don't necessarily watch um, the character that he's playing. You know, because I know too much about his personal life. And it's interesting. I mean, it's, da it's a danger that I guess can happen to any actor. If you become yeah. famous enough in this era, anyone's going to want to know personal things about you. And it's very difficult to keep those things close to the chest exactly. anymore. I think it, it, it's, it's detrimental to an actor, their career. It's, it's like when, when you're watching your friend. We have a lot of friends that are actors. And when you're watching them, sometimes it's hard to lose yourself and see them because you know them too well. To really lose yourself. Oh, I agree. It's like, yeah, totally agree. Yeah, you just always want to call bullshit. Yeah. Because you're like, you're not a tough guy. You're not shooting. Like, look at you pointing a gun. Yeah. Like, you know what you're doing. But everyone around you is like, everyone watching. Oh my god, that guy's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah.